how to create your Canva presentations in this step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can do this. So guys, if you don't know what exactly Canva is, Canva is an amazing place that you can start designing almost anything totally for free. Now, there is a Canva Pro section, and I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description if you want to check it out, the Canva Pro. So with that being said, guys, let's jump right into it. All right, so as you can see, guys, I'm already here into Canva.com, and here I am using a Canva Pro section. So uh, once you have redeemed your code 30 days totally for free, you can start using Canva. So in this tutorial, what you want to do is to hit into the very upper side and focus into the one that says create a design. You can see it now. So here, what you can to do is to choose the option that says presentation, which is down in here. And as you can see, you have 16 and 9. And here I want to choose and click the button. This is going to be popping up the editor section so I can start designing my actual presentation. Now, if I scroll here, I'm going to be seeing here in the left part, I can see my designs, I can see elements, I can see uploads, text, my projects, some videos, and much more. In today's tutorial, I was going to be focusing into just one thing, which is actually the elements. So here into the elements, what you can do is just to drag and drop or select the option that you want to talk about. Let's say, for example, you don't want to talk about marketing. So if I type my keyword marketing here, I'm going to type graphics and here. I can use whatever option I wanted to and I can add this into my presentation and I can drag and make this big enough or a little bit smaller. And then as you can see, we might be seeing some uh, purple lines where it's gonna be taking me to the safe areas. So I'm gonna leave my item, my button like this. And as you can see, we do have different elements here into the very upper side where we can edit our image. I can crop this, I can flip this, or I can even animate this. So what this actually animation means. So if I select the option that says animation, what I can do is that when I'm starting to make presentations into Canva, I can make this quick animation of the actual fade in or the fade out. For example, I'm going to type for white and here's going to be appearing my animation. Here's something new. Here's a drift. Here's pop, for example, pan and much more. So once you do hit in there, what you want to do is to leave it like that. I'm going to go into text here into text, just as the actual text box says, what you can do is just to choose whatever option you wanted to. Let's see, for example, I'm going to type for phone combinations. I'm going to choose this one. And what you want to do is to customize this. I am just creating my own. So now that I've been told you guys how we can create my tools, let's just start by creating a presentation with some templates. So templates are something that can be helping us a lot to decide almost anything and you don't have to even start from scratch. So once you are here into your presentation, if you type design, what I want to be focused on is in here which says presentation templates and you're going to click into templates. So as you can see, I do have really a lot, but a lot of presentation templates that I can choose. So let's say for example that I choose this one and as you can see, there are a presentation of one out of 23. So if I click this one, it's going to be sending me into all the different presentation tools that I can use in order to start working here. So this is all just like how it's going to be looking and what I want to do is to select the option that I the one to be focused on. For example, this one, I'm going to hit into the plus and automatically is going to be popping from my actual presentation. So speaking about templates, we don't actually need to do anything, but just edit the content that is already in there. So for example, here's this graphic novel conventions. So I'm going to delete this. Uh, let's say like top most uh, advanced. Um, I'm going to go for comic books like this. And if you see that there's something like it's not fit enough, what I can do is to make this fit. Like I'm going to make this a little bit more smaller and I'm going to make this size a little bit like this. And I just need to move this with my mouse. So there you go. And if I even want to change the color of my text, I can do that into the upper side where you can see that there's different tools to edit the element that you just selected down in here. In my case, I want to choose the option that says text color. And here I want to change text, of course, another color. Let's say, for example, I want to choose the same one. And here, as you can see, we do have the document colors. That means that these are all the colors that appears into this document. So I can choose this one. And then later, what I want to do, if I want to enhance this a little bit more like the other elements, I want to go for effects. And here into effects, as you can see, I have different styles with my actual text. So what I can do is to choose one that fits for me. Let's say, for example, this splice one. And here into the color of the splice, I'm going to leave it into dark like this. There we go. 
So lastly, what I just need to do is to leave this like that and hit back again. If I want to animate all of this section, I can do that one by one. For example, I'm going to choose this one, hit into animate, and by default, since this is a template, there has been already an actual animation. So if you want to just see what is the actual animation of your presentation, you want to click into the five seconds. You want to leave this here. I want to go into the show pages. And here, as you can see, here's my page number one. So here into the animation, I'm going to type, let's say, for example, farm, uh, desco, corporate, sleek, and simple. So I'm going to leave like this. And here we now have something and we can go into the very next part which is actually adding more stuff now down here to show all pages what i can do is to choose this option and says add page so i'm going to type add page i'm going to go back into my design and here as you can see we could see all the actual elements that we were seen before so what i need to do is just to choose the option that best suits for me and change the actual design and change all the text elements that i can add here for example lesson objective let's say for example you type only objective and if i don't want the font i want to choose this change the font into the upper side and here let's say for example i want to choose something like this there we go and later I'm going to add once again something more. Here's another page and I can add more and more structures. Now, lastly, guys, if, you, if there's something you don't want to see or you can change the actual elements. For example, let's say that I don't want to see this. I am just making some restaurant stuff. So as you can see, what I can do is to select all of my elements, delete those, go back into this sentence section. And here I'm going to go for elements here into elements. Let's say that I want to look out for some burgers. There we go. I'm going to hit into graphics and here into graphics, I do have different elements. In my case, I want to look for uh, something can be more accurate for me. Let's say, for example, this one. And as you can see, we do have magic recommendations. So before we edit this, uh, what I want to do is to show you something called the magic recommendations. Now, the magic recommendations are something really, really amazing if you want to add more elements based on the section that you use added. So if I choose select all, it's going to be showing me all the related items from the product from the actual element that I just choose. For example, I do have like a hot dog, I have more stuff, and it's going to be appearing more and more magic recommendations as I am just adding more and more elements. Lastly, if you want to actually just send and start to presentate your own stuff, what I want to do is to choose the option that says share into this upper side. And here what I want to do is to look out for the download section. And here, what you want to do is to look out for the file typed. Here into the file type, you want to choose uh, whether that could be like a PDF, that could be a PNG file, SVG, and or a gift part. I can strongly suggest you guys to use an MP4 video or just to, uh, let's say, export page by page as a GIF content. So there's going to be just short animations and you can be scrolling left and next and next. So I'm going to go for download. Lastly, guys, what I can truly totally advise you guys, if you want to make the presentations inside Canva, you just want to focus here where it says the actual presentate full screen. I'm going to type Ctrl Alt P. And here, as you can see, here's my presentation and the animation. And here, my mouse is going to be appearing to where I'm actually uh, navigating through. So here, I'm going to type wherever I wanted to, hit into next, and the animation is going to appear into the next template. So if I choose once again, the presentation should be ended. With that being said, guys, this is how we can start making presentations into Canva. As you can see, it was really, really easy. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more Canva tutorials and more tips for this amazing application. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you next time.